Hey everyone, how's your holiday season going? Now I know it's been a long time since my last video, I'm so sorry, but I've been really busy being lazy, so... Anyway, today I thought I'd make it up to you guys by talking about a composer that everybody knows. His name is Mozart! <laughs> what makes Mozart so difficult to play? It's finding that perfect balance, a mixture between simplicity on one hand, yet complexity on the other. Like being young and energetic, but having that kind of mature and experienced sound. Um, it's like having that right amount of crispiness, but yet balancing with beautiful singing phrases. Now, the perfect Mozart is like the perfect bird. It doesn't exist! Because everybody has different tastes and preferences. So with that being said, don't always try to do what everyone else is doing, right? It doesn't have to be played one specific way. But you should know and have research done about what makes a burger a burger and not a sandwich, for example. So when you play Mozart, there have to be certain things about your playing which make Mozart Mozart and not make your Mozart into a potato. This video was brought to you by Mozart. Red-skinned, yellow-flushed, with a unique taste. A chef's favorite. Patates Dolbex exclusive variety. Available at Metro. So first, let's focus on the style. This is everything that goes between your two buns. Like all the ingredients inside. How crispy do you want your meat to be? Or how tender or juicy? Now just remember, Mozart was born in the 1700s, where at the time, fancy men of society wore makeup and kind of wigs and all sorts of frilly things. So Mozart being a composer of the court was a part of this society. So the style of your playing has to reflect that. Basically, you can't slobber all over your burger or have it dribble down your chin and ruin your manly makeup. <laughs> so next, we talk about sound. Now, this is the sauce of your burger because the best burgers in the world have great sauces that tie everything in together to make the perfect, awesome flavor. But remember, too much sauce can also overwhelm the natural, beautiful taste of your burger. What? So be sure not to put too much sauce on it and find the perfect balance. The sauce, I don't know, you're using too much sauce, okay? Review's over. Uh, uh, uh. Now finally, you have the extra toppings. And this equates to things in your playing, like, well, things that are unique to you. Things that nobody else have. Are you a spicy sort of burger? Or more of a mushroom burger? I mean, I've seen several of my colleagues present vegan burgers, and they can be equally delicious as well. It just depends on who you are as a burger. Sorry, person. No, burger. Anyway, the thing is, always be sure to do your research about what you're trying to create, whether it be burger or music. And for the first couple of times, when you practice it, or when you make it, be sure to follow the recipe. This is really important, especially in music, but it's also important in burgers too. And once you're confident, you can try different ingredients and flavors that, you know, other people aren't necessarily putting in your burgers, but it could be tasty nonetheless. You see, we don't have to be afraid of these composers and put them on pedestals any more than we should be worshiping the Earl of Sandwich or the inventor of pasta. The most important thing is that your food should be tasty, it should look good, and it should be enjoyable to eat. Plus, it should be enjoyable for you to make too. It should be interesting and full of flavor. It should make people want to have seconds and thirds. It's already 2 p.m. and I haven't had lunch yet, so I think I'm gonna have lunch now. On that note, see you later, and bye.